Okay, continuing with the Halloween edition of uh, video editing, uh, and we're starting with the intro. We're making creating an intro slideshow type uh, deal uh, with Blender 3D here. Last I left you, we had uh, created this table full of uh, photos, and we put photos on each one, and we animated the camera, and we made a different scene for each animation. Uh, I was saying. 180 frames good that's going to be about six seconds there five six seconds um, uh, if you render one out this is what it looks like so there's a I kind of did uh, in between two shots there instead of just doing just one shot since they kind of go together pop by an olive oil so that's what we're looking for uh, we're gonna do one more here so I'm gonna go uh, add full copy so now we're at uh, scene nine, so we've made nine scenes so far, not counting our default scene, which doesn't have any animations. Uh, I'm gonna grab our empty. I'm gonna put it right here. What this one is, this is our um, invitation here, which I added in there just to give it a uh, personal feel there, uh, a little more, so it's just not just a random slideshow, because I do do this type of effect a lot, this whole table full of photos thing, since it's so simple to do. Um, but I, I want to personalize it, so I put that uh, invitation from the party in there. So anyway, I selected the camera, clear out the keyframes for it again, and uh, let's move the camera right over here. We'll hit I, set a keyframe for uh, location, rotation, and scale. Shift up arrow to go to the last frame, and I'll go to front view here. I'll grab the camera move it up and it rotates a little bit there and we've got our little animation for that so what do we do now I'm gonna hit uh, control s and save that and I'm gonna create one more scene add scene I'm gonna do an empty scene I'm going to call this scene uh, seq for sequence and I'm going to go to our sequence editor right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, importing those scenes. So I'm going to click spacebar here, scene. I'm going to choose the last scene here since that's the, uh, the invitation. I figured that'd be a good place to start. Um, and we'll just put that at the beginning there. We'll also add a color, uh, generate a color here. And we're going to select that by right clicking it. And we're going to change it by going to here to black and we'll select that then shift click here hit space and add gamma cross so that we have a little fade there now be careful since we're uh, haven't rendered these scenes out yet when you click on something like that it's got to render this the shot which could take a few seconds so you don't really hit play at this point because it will play real slow and constantly be saving at this point because it's very easy to mess things up so scene and we'll start adding in all those different shots just like so. Uh, scene two, scene three, scene four. And if you really wanted to play around with this a lot, I would suggest rendering out the the videos, the scenes, instead of just importing the unrendered scenes. Uh, you can see I do that in other tutorials I've done on the sequencer here. Uh, add scene, that was scene five, so scene six. Add scene, scene seven. And I'm kind of eyeballing the transition. The, the more they overlap, the longer the transition is. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. And scene eight. And then we can add a, another color generator here, or generate another color and make it black. And let's start over here. Let's save real quick, okay? Uh, first, second, space, gamma cross put the gamma cross there second to third gamma cross and just make sure you click them in the order that you want the transition to go so we're going to click from this one to this one if you were to click the other way this scene to this scene the transition will go backwards and that's not what we want so this scene to this scene this scene to this scene and I'm hitting spacebar each time to bring up that menu and choosing gamma cross and then we'll include choose there now we have to go to our render window down here 
we'll click in a timeline right here, look at what frame we're at. We're at frame uh, 1,351. So let's set this whole uh, project up to that, 351. And we're going to say do sequence. Let's save again real quick. We'll make this FFmpeg. Video, I'm going to choose DV since I'm not done editing yet. We don't have to worry about audio because we haven't imported any audio here. And we're going to choose where we're going to save it to. So I'm going to save it in here. I'll save it as intro video. Save. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, we have NTSC format. And we're going to go from frame 1 to 1351. We're rendering the sequence here. We have where we're saving it to, format we're saving it to, we're not worried about audio. Um, only other thing we may want to look into is changing the aspect and ratio here. Uh, and because it's standard now, and I filmed the video portion of this in widescreen. So let's, uh, let's see if we can change this, which would be 16 by 9. It's backwards here, so we're going to go um, 9 by 16. Let's render one frame and see how that looks. Uh, I should probably pick a better frame to render here. Uh, I'll click here. It's going to have to render it for the preview up here. And I'll click render. That's looking good. A little Octomom character going on there. Great costume. Okay, so I'm going to quickly save this project. And I'm going to click animate and uh, it will take a while to animate, especially at those transitions because example right here it's got to render a frame from this scene, render a frame from this scene, then create the transition scene and then do it for the next frame and we're doing 30 frames a second here. Uh, so right now it's rendering uh, but the first few shots are going to be kind of black. Give it time uh, and like I said we're rendering it's taking about f almost five seconds a frame right here and we've got uh, 1,351 frames to render. Give it time. If you're impatient, start it before you go to bed. When you wake up in the morning, it will be done. Uh, and get ready for the next tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com. The link is in the description. Oh, and I'm sorry for the first two parts of this video. I went over my 10 minutes. I had to cut and recompress the video. That's why the quality is a little bit lower on those videos. I do have a timer that I'm watching this time so I don't go over. Unfortunately, YouTube limits you to 10 minutes. Someone suggested changing my account to a director's account. Uh, that didn't fix the problem. I guess it used to, and those who used to have director's accounts were grandfathered in, but I'm still limited to 10 minutes. And I have a little less than two minutes left, so I'm going to end this tutorial here. If you look real close, you can see uh, the first image starting to render right here. But uh, filmsbychris.com, Chris with a K, links in the description. Hope you're enjoying these tutorials, and we'll have more coming soon.